So the respiratory system holds the vitality of equality or injustice. Fairness or unfairness in the world. Now that can show up two ways. People can have their focus and concern on world events, global events, and look at the world and just say the world around me is very unfair. Um, certainly our news channel is, is filled with one group of people treating another group of people unfairly. Okay. Uh, another example is could be on, on the personal level where people just feel in their own life they're treated unfairly or life is not fair. And what I've come to realize is the only fair in the world that I know comes to Shenandoah County every September. <laughs> Okay. Does that doesn't matter? It's the county fair that comes once a year. That, any, no, my point is. No, all right, I got to start the video over again. Okay. Oh my God. You know, I'm just gonna stop with that. that yeah. yeah. Uh. Okay, for those of you that don't live in the United States, we have county fairs. Okay, got it. All right. Okay. Um, now, I want to say... <laughs> yes, John. Um, do you think that explains the high level of asthma in the African-American community? Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go even further with that. I'm gonna, I want to say, too, because I know that social injustice has really come forward over the last few years. And I want to say that two years ago, when, when COVID began, combined with social injustice, that all of a sudden everybody's got to wear a mask and they're complaining about how they can't breathe with these masks on, which to me sent like kind of a global message about mm -hmm. the injustice in our world. Mm -hmm. That was what I thought was interesting. Yes. Well, with this, I actually know from an unconscious, you know, my body's reaction when I get emotionally upset if I think of something that's uh, not fair or whatever, I notice I start coughing. Okay. So, I, you know, and that's been consistent that I'll see if I get emotionally charged up with that injustice or whatever, I, you know, I have a physical reaction to it. All right. You know, and, I, and, I, and, and I've got to be delicate and I've got to be sensitive too, but I would say, you know, in regard to Mr. George Floyd, when he was saying, I can't breathe, mm -hmm. at the same time, this injustice act is being committed. Mm -hmm. uh, I, just, it just, I just, the message just came together for me. Uh, and, and, but it's also worldwide. There's a lot of injustice going on around the world. So, you know, the answer or the solution is, again, not to make injustice okay. That's not the message here. Um, but what I find is where people place their focus often amplifies what's happening. So if we have a conversation with ourselves that life is unfair, we might be amplifying the unfairness. For people that have asthma or respiratory problems, uh, you know, they're always complaining about the unfairness in life, how they can't get ahead, how they're behind the eight ball. They just don't have the, the opportunities like everybody else. And I would always say, well, okay, I understand that, but you know, there is some equality going on in, their wor in our world. There is some equity going on in our world. Your focus is constantly on how life is not fair to you. And I'm going to say that's eroding your respiratory system or keeping you in a chronic asthma, lifelong state. And so can you at least begin to start focusing and place your awareness on there is equality in this, in this world. and see how that might impact your experience. You know, what, what was it that Einstein said? Your theory determines what is observed, or what you expect to find is then what you will find. So if your theory is that the world is unfair, you know, as you step out the door every morning to go out in the world, have you already set that context? That's the channel you've turned your viewer to. And again, I, again, I'm not saying these, the, the actions that have happened are okay, and then, you know, again, there's no silver lining here. But it, there is an opportunity for us to transform if we look at the quality of our health related to how people are behaving, not only because a lot of the, the vitality we've talked about seems to be on your personal life, 
But now we can look at this on the global stage, which when we get to thyroid, we'll talk about that as well. So for those of you that know people in your life that have friends, family or whatever that have asthma, chronic respiratory systems, emphysema, anything like that, do you know anybody like that? And do you notice their conversation is about... Okay, so you're noticing that you know, life is not fair. Okay. okay. So if you want to support your family members, you don't need to be a physician necessarily. You can interrupt them and say, hey, you know, I noticed for the last 40 years you've always been on the longest path. Can we focus on some positive? Can we focus on some fairness or equity in your life?